so so make sure to check out my linkedin profile link is in my dis description box okay so let's start with today's practical this practical is very realistic as well as very important example of serverless so here i would be showing you how we can use lambda as well as api gateway and just link them with our web application and here the use case which i am selecting is a very common use case as well as it's very important so what i am doing here let's say if i uh, am organizing a training and i want like people can come to my website and can just enter their name phone number and email address as they will click here registration welcome message with registration link will be shared automatically to their email at email box and i don't want to use or create my own server in linux uh, by ec2 instance or i don't want to create here my own linux server which will uh, just keep on running for hours and hours and do this so here i would be using serverless concept here i would be using lambda function so that this would be done by lambda function itself and here i have the code so what what is this code i will explain to you soon so let's start this is going to be a very great practical i hope you have got uh, our agenda so let's start so here what i am doing uh, is i will tell you each thing step by step but here uh, i have just done all the setup so that i can show you how the output look like here i have my lambda function as well as here i have my api gateway as well as here i have my code so this is my code so let's let let me show you how it works okay so i can show, show you my email box so this email i am going to use as a client so so right now you can see i don't have any email yet so let me do like me and my name is shubhanshu so i will my my name my phone number just random phone number it's not my number then now let's enter my email so this is my email now as i will do here registration so behind the scene it will go it it has been done successfully registered you will get, uh, soon get a email with session link i will say okay and here as i will come here and i will try to refresh and boom here you can see i have got uh, one uh, email okay and you can see the subject is successful ratio for linux training as i will click here you can see this is like here it is telling my name which is sudhanshu you have successfully registered and here it is giving the training link and here i am using this as my company email i can change it also and one more important fact here i am not using ses so basically in most of the practical people show you how to connect these thing with ses and as amazon is going to charge with you if you are using amazon email uh, server but here i what i am doing is here i have created my own python code which will be using gmail server itself okay i will show you uh, how i am doing this so that code is present in my lambda function so that boom that's that's the thing which i wanted to show you so let's start uh, how i have done this so let's me explain you my code step by step and i would be teaching you how i have done all of these setup this is a very good use case which you can use and here you would not be get a, any cost because we are not creating our own server we are using serverless concept and even we are not using ses so let's start in this way so here i have created a very basic html page what this does it do it just create a html form as well as it will take the input and it will use it will just send the input to this url what this url is it is the url for api gateway which would be accepting the post method okay that's that's a simple thing that's i think even an a sixth class student who knows html they can understand this code that's very simple so why how this url came so let's go to the api gateway so this is my api gateway here if you just i have just created like contact this is just a name so like contact me so here you will see i have created a method name as post and here you can see the invoke url this this one and the same url i have used here so as this url will be invoked uh, as this url will be invoked this api will get to know and this api is at last con uh, connected with so whenever anything would come here it will it will it will trigger our lambda function okay so that's how it looks okay so that's how it looks so let's go to lambda function let me let us understand what i have done in lambda function so here you can see lambda function this is my lambda function it would be triggered by api gateway okay and what i am using in my lambda function so very simple thing let's go to the code code is very simple the simple python code i have used i will share all the uh, code this one code as well as this code everything to you uh, in description so that you can just set up the same thing 
here you can see I'm importing some libraries very simple libraries to send email here just I'm using a function and here is the main thing if you have used API gateway then whatever the I was talking about that JSON form uh, means whatever the user has entered like his email and all it would come in JSON format so if I can open you postman so I can show you better so whatever user have entered here it would be coming in JSON and it would be coming here at this event so this is very important for us okay so what I am doing here here first of all I am just uh, sending this to what would be the subject so subject would be successfully registered from the this is my company website let's say to, to whom you are send, sending so here the main thing came up here what I am doing is like it would be come in JSON so I am using JSON dot terms then it would be converted into dictionary okay so this would be now dictionary json dot load now with dictionary if i have to call this email key then i can just write like resp this is the name email that's it to whom i have to send this one so here if i can show you in postman so how the data would be coming so this this is like how data will uh, will be coming from my this side it would be like you see it in json name it would be this phone would be this email would be this and whatever i have entered here so this is how it will be and now i am fetching each data from here so i am fetching if i email where to send then what the message to send here i have used hi and here i have used the you know if you are uh, in python we can use format and there i can put the variable name so the variable name would be very very simple code here i would not waste your time much so you can see resp name just i'm one name that's why uh, in here if you have seen it is saying hi shubhanshu with the name okay and then it will just uh, send it here i have created my password in a different file so that would be secure and that's it that's it it, it would be done okay so this is how uh, things are working if you want to if you want to create a lambda function lambda function is a very easy service just come here create function okay you can see use a blueprint also and in blueprint just type hello world okay and use a python hello world simple just use aws python hello world then use configure then just give a name this is simple it is so i will give a name let's say new one okay this is how i am creating a function so just create function so i am telling you step by step how you can do the same setup so here first of all you have to create lambda function so it would be created in few seconds so till that time let's go and just create api gateway so let's create a new api gateway so then let's come to api okay so you can see here successfully function is being created now go to come to code so it is loading for me now okay so now just come to the code and just uh, replace here whatever the code you can see with the code which i have just shown that must simple you don't have to do anything else just do this and this new one lambda function is ready to work now let's focus on api so one api i have already done let's create a new api so which api you will be using so use rest api let to is build okay very simple uh, which steps we are going to use so that even in your case like if you have to create a contact us program uh, page like a user can just uh, enter their name email address and whatever the query they have same thing same concept you can use for contact us also here i have used for different use case so just to uh, show you the another flavor okay so let's come to the, this here i would be saying just use rest and here the, a new api giving a new api so let's say new api i'm just giving a random name that's not matter at all here i will be creating a api and as this API would be created, now I have to create a resource. Okay. So resource name would be like uh, connect, uh, like uh, registration, register, register, let's say register. Okay. And I, I have to also enable chorus. This is a very, very, very important point. If you don't enable this, then it would be very, it would be not possible. You can't send data here from here directly to an external link what is chorus how why it is very important so i would be talking about this in an, any other video but here the main thing is if data is sending to external link so we have to enable chorus here okay here here because data is coming to here only so i will just click enable chorus create resource so resource would be created now under resource i have to create one method so which method you want to use so i would be using post because our data would be coming on post just click on this tick now post method would be done and here the main thing 
to to whom you will like to integrate with our http you also you want to you can integrate like here you will just give a url so as anyone will click uh, that url this would be triggered but here i am using lambda function and what the lambda function you are using so i think i have used just new one just select this one save oh that's it that that was simple it is so that's it it's been done and you can see now everything is connected and all so what you have to do now the last step go to action and deploy your api this is and deploy a state let's say you can use dev dev state or any state so you can just have to give a name now you will get a url so not just come to first of all just come to your dev post just just copy this url and just paste it here that's it that much simple it is and that's would be working fine so same thing let's let me show you this practical once again let me refresh let me use a different email id so that i can show you that this thing is working even if i have just posted it in an ec2 instance then you can also work but it will cost me so i haven't done let's mean my name is amit again mobile number is a random mobile number and here i am giving this email id let's say this is my email id so one two three so one two three as i will enter my email id registration so it is it now behind the scene it, it it has gone to api gateway then api gateway has called the lambda function and lambda function has sent it the mail so that it's been done we have got the successful message also just get take okay and let's let me go to the email also in front of you only i will go to email now you would be seeing like i would have received one email like i have been registered for that program so this is how it works so see i have just got one email i will just click here and here you can see hi amit is coming so that's how it work i will share all the code in the description thanks for viewing check my le uh, linkedin profile stay connected i would be posting these type of interesting videos and um, where i would be showing you the real use case how we can build the projects so thanks for watching